Greetings, YouTube. Happy Whale Thursdays, as I'm going to call it today, because we have a multi-tiered offer that is aimed at the top of the top, the people that are looking to take their next five-star to rank five or six-star to rank two, or maybe hoarding those tier five basic for the off chance that they have a... Uh, Tier 5 Class Catalyst Crystal that they land on for their choice to take a 6-star to rank 3 at some point in Act 6. So I get asked all the time, Prof, what do you think Kabam values X item? Uh, in this case, Prof, what do you think Kabam in 2019, almost March, March is coming up so soon, uh, what do you think they value a Tier 2 Alpha? And I'll say for cash, 50 bucks. Prof, what do you think Tier 5 Basic Catalyst Fragments are valued at? Well, $9,000 for $100 or 4500 for $50. This is what Kabam values them at. This is not what I value them at. Keep that in mind. Keep this in mind also that this is what Kabam's value points were set at before the Glory Store Reduction changes. Those changes have dramatically lessened the value of these items, and I'm so thankful for that. One of the best things Kabam has done in the last year is lower the price drastically of Tier 2 Alpha Callus Fragments in the Glory Store and introduce, though they're quite high, the Tier 5 Basic Callus Fragment into the Glory Store. That allows free-to-play players the free opportunity to get them. Now, when I use the word free, as I did yesterday in the five-star Awakening Gem Crystal Opportunity of March, I don't mean that it's 100% free. Nothing in life is truly free. Even if you have to drive across town to get a free slice of pizza at a restaurant, it's technically not free. You still have to spend your time doing it. You still have to spend your energy doing it. You still have to spend the gas in the vehicle to do it. You still have to spend the depreciation of the vehicle that you're in in order to get it. So there's always an opportunity cost for anything you get in life, even if it's called free. When I use free in this game, it is is simply stating that free-to-play players don't have to spend cash on something to acquire the item. So in this case, this is our, of course, cash-based offers. Free-to-play players will just ignore these because they have no opportunity to get them as they are credit card-based. So if this offer was $20 cheaper, because right now it's the cost of Black Panther's Treasure at $49.99. And keep in mind, this is United States dollars. I have seen screenshots recently of currency at both Canada and Australia. And my goodness, it's like uh, Kabam just keeps changing your currency rates and making it even harder and more expensive for those of you in those countries to get these items. And I'm sure other countries I haven't even been sent screenshots of. It's even worse. But what if instead of the cost of Black Panther's treasure, it was the cost of Tony Stark's briefcase? What if it was $29.99 for one Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst and uh, 4,500 Tier 5 Basic Catalyst Fragments? Wouldn't that get more people to buy it? I think so. Yes, they might take a little bit of a hit on the per price acquisition, but if you sell more, this is a microeconomics lesson for you. If the quantity of it exceeds the price point to where you might be selling something for $30 instead of $50, but twice as many people buy it as they would have at the $50 price point, you're actually getting more money back as a company. And so Kabam, if you're listening, if you lower the price by 20 bucks and twice as many people buy it, you're still making more money than you would having this at the $50 price point. Now, I saw the word advanced in the title of this. And normally when it limits one and there's a word like beginning or, or advanced, uh, that means that there is a second or third tier of this offer. And today is no exception. For when we go read the tier five basic cash offers, plural, we will see that this first $50 offer unlocks the second offer for the same price as an All Father Odin's Vault or 3100 unit price of 99.99 except of course without the units. And so, if the value stays the same, for $100 you would get 9000 more tier 5 basic and two more tier 2 alphas along with 750,000 gold. In this case, we see it's 13,500 tier 5 basic. So you do get a slight quote unquote $50 bonus uh, in tier 5 basics, even though that's really overvalued big time. It should be, in this case, for 150 bucks. Can we all agree it should be at least 15,000 tier 5 basic fragments or one third of a fully formed tier 5 basic? That's still putting one tier 5 basics value at $450, and you need two of those to rank up a five-star, so that's a $900 estimation, and if you want to rank up a six-star, which takes three, you're looking at $1,350, or the price of a uh, get you from point A to point B car, or the price many people, even in cities, will pay for a studio apartment for a month worth of value. I would have loved to see this have 
three tier two alphas because at least you could go from having zero tier two alphas to four tier two alphas or what you need to take a five star to rank four after acquiring both levels of this deal. That would make a lot more sense. Instead, you are one tier two alpha catalyst short and then 500,000 gold is a flat out joke. It should be at least 1 million gold. So the only difference between the ultimate tier five basic cash and the advanced tier five basic cash is you get 4,500 more tier five basic catalyst fragments or in total, you do get slightly above one third when you factor that in of 17,000, uh, excuse me, 18,000 tier five basic fragments. But for the 150 bucks, I would expect that to be at least 20,000 tier five basics and an additional tier two alpha to make four. That would be a B value. And even that's huge considering $150 is the price that many, many people could pay on eBay for an entire console plus games, plus controllers, plus rumble packs, plus you name it. And instead you are not even guaranteeing that your five star comes close to halfway to rank five or your six star a third of the way to rank two. That's how much Kabam is still offering these items. It is just insanity for thousands and thousands of dollars of perceived value for something that isn't going to get you close. If this was a guaranteed opportunity, uh, why not just have this? Why not, instead of all of the items you see in front of you, why not give people for $150 the opportunity to purchase a crystal with a rank four to rank five five-star gem? How much more would they sell if it was a guarantee to have that rank up gem that you can get really now only for 100% completing variant difficulty. Wouldn't that make more sense? And then besides that, wouldn't it make more sense to have it be the $29.99 and the $49.99 to sell it? Because that's really what this should be. If the first tier is $29.99 and the ultimate tier is $49.99, I'm all about it. But you've doubled the price and you've asked users to pay a pre-glory store rate for something that has been devalued by your own company because you can save your glory and get so much more value for free. This is not the worst deal we've ever seen by any means, but it is a whale milking fiesta in that you really won't care about the price. You'll just get it to have more tier five basics and tier two alphas in your stash. If this included units, it would be an A. But we know that that only happens about twice a year on July 4th and Cyber Monday, so you really can't compare that to the normal daily deal as this is normally in place of the deal, which is why it says for the same price as All Father Odin's Vault, for example. So, are you going to be interested at all in this, or do you agree with me that the first tier should be $29.99 and the second tier should be uh, $49.99 at most? Comment below and let me know. And as always, I appreciate your feedback on my offer grades. I did spend quite a bit of time. I have notes in front of me to make sure that I kind of talked about the glory store reduction changes because I do think that impacts the overall grade of these deals going forward. I covered all my notes, so I'm good to go to hit stop on this recording. Thanks for watching. Have a good Thursday, YouTube.